Hi, my name is Chef Sean and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to prepare a beautiful brunch item, a croissant French toast. A little atypical is uh, using a croissant as your bread item in the French toast as opposed to a slice of white bread or whatever else it is. Um, but it's a great way to jazz up your brunch ideas a little bit and it kind of opens the door for many more platforms. So, couldn't be simpler. We have a croissant. We buy these. Uh, par bake, bake them in the house to finish them up. A little whole butter. And this is just some whipped eggs that have been whipped up with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of milk. So to start, we'll take our croissant, we're going to cut it in half the long way. By pushing down a little bit, halfway through, I like to flip it up and finish the cut. You got your two halves of the croissant. We've got our butter. Behind me here, I've got a pan heating up that's going to use as our, as our vessel for this. Into the pan, put our butter. This is a non-stick pan. It's going to ensure that the croissant comes out nice and easy. It's nice, even browning. So all of our butter is melted and the bubbling has somewhat subsided. We'll add the French toast. We don't want the butter to brown. We just want to get it right past the bubbling stage. So I've got the two halves here. They're a little loose, little, little loose and fragile. You just got to be careful. Dunk them, in the, dunk them in the egg. We'll do that with both. Doesn't take long for this to get saturated. They're so full of uh, air pockets. Okay, that looks good. Butter is nicely melted. Take this back over. In they go. That one's looking good. Breakfast in bed, anything like that would be great with these. All right, we'll take this back over. Try to more plate to cool down a little bit. Finish it off, drizzle, local maple syrup, a little whipped cream if you like. There's enough butter in there already, so I think just like that, we're good to go.